this is Wendy Daniels with Revolutionary PE, and this is large group fitness gram testing. When we are testing large classes on day one for fitness gram, I ask them to get into ABC order last name. So they start moving A's towards the front. Um, sometimes this is their cubby order or ABC order from class. And um, when some of the class is absent, it might take them a minute, so it's hard. And I, I would ask them if there's a game going on over here, I would go behind them for just their own purposes for security so no one else sees their testing information. I ask them to face west and I ask them to raise their right hand. So raise your right hand and they would reach to shoulder stretch. And then as soon as I tap them and I ask, can I help you? So if I ask them, may I help you because you're so close, I would move their shirt, kind of move their hands and let them touch. Once they touch, I tap and say, you're good, you're good. If they didn't, I'll say work on it and I will come back to you. So if I touch your arm or shoulder, I know that you're good. And then I'll say left hand up and reach. Ooh, and I go down the line the same. So touch, 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 and good. And then I record their results. So on the first day, after I have taken their shoulder stretch, it's very easy on their class roster to record who is absent. So I take roll, record all the yeses, and then any noes. And it's left first, then right. And I would ask them to remove their shoes. Today we're not going to, but they follow the line over and they follow to the scale. When um, I check and make sure that it's on, then I would record their information on the roster on the clipboard, so only the teacher would see it. So then I would say the first person steps on, and then while I'm holding the scale information, I would record their weight. And so they would step on facing the wall. They wouldn't see, and then off. And next. Next, go back to your line, good job. And next, just pretending. And next, and next. Uh, your weight isn't as important right now at this age. You should only wor be working on trying to eat some healthy foods and to exercise and play at recess. And that's your focus right now. You could weigh at home with your parents or you can weigh with your doctor to find out your weight here. We're only collecting that information for fitness gram purposes. It's used to calculate your pacer gram fitness scale. It's used to determine your endurance. To walk to the height test. And the first person would come up and stand with their heels against the wall. And then you would use a flat ruler to measure their height and ask them to step away. It is easier if, for example, this says four foot and then when um, you would put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then five foot and then one, two, three, and on up. That way when you record it, you are going to have to record it as a decimal. So for example, if he was four foot eight and a half. I would put four, four feet and then 8.5 or three fourths, 8.75. Follow along, we do on day one, on, but we practice what we're doing for day two. I'm in alphabetical order, calling their names. First person is going to lay on the mat. Second person lays on the mat. Third person lays on the mat, chin on the mat, looking at the X. So they keep coming. And when I get halfway, here we go, next, next. And now we would start pairing them still in alphabetical order. You will be testing him. And then here, and then here, here. Here 
and here. And if I count it wrong, I could always pull the last person and say, you're going to be testing him. So when we test them, it's if I ask them to make sure that your feet are not touching the wall, that your chin is on the mat, that you could see the X. If not, you have to scoot back. Arms at your side. The person testing, can you make sure that you test it next to their cheek? And it's going to take two hands. And then all together, we say no talking during testing because when we're testing, they have to be able to listen to me. And then I would tap or say if something was wrong. So ready, arms at your side. Put the measuring stick next to their cheek. Get your other hand ready to measure, ready, lift. Look at the X, look at the X, feet on the floor, feet on the floor, and rest. If you're not looking at the X, tell them their score was zero. They must be looking at the X when you measure. So let's try that again, we get three tries. Ready, lift, look at the X, look, nope, look at the X, look at the X, and rest. Good job. And then they would get one more turn, and then I would say switch with your partner. So then partners would switch. Came by, and then I would record. What was your score? What was your score? And I get to record their best score from those three. Then we go on to the next test. In the gym, I post what they need to actually pass each parameter of the testing so they know what their goal is for passing and what their goal is for max. If they are nine or younger, they would switch to the different tape and they would put their feet on the floor, lay down, fingers touching the top of the tape, and then they would be ready for that to start the next test. This would just be practice. Next time they come on day three is the real test. We try to do one test per week. When the, this test is over, they would switch with their partner and the next one would go. Because they're in ABC order, it allows me to record their scores quickly. On day three, when we do curl up tests, we practice the push up test. But again, they would be in ABC order, last name. And then the first person would come to our first testing station where there's a bubble. Second person, third person, fourth person, fifth person, sixth person, and so on. And then I would start over with the person counting them. Will you go count him? So get in front behind the black line, please. Next, next person. This way they are in the order on the roster and it's very easy for me to test them, okay? And we could even do a full class. There is a bubble. The bubble is if they want to have it to touch their chest. They shouldn't have anything behind them, so you would, you would move equipment out of the way prior to the test. We do say that their feet can slide due to the gym floor, which isn't fair. So they are just asked to um, just put their feet there just to keep them from sliding. Ready? Get in the up position. Everybody up. We should be at 90 degrees and wait for him to say up. Down. Talk about how this is one of the most difficult push-ups. So your arms should be a little bit further apart like this, shoulder width, so you can do more. And then when the test is over, we would stop it when everyone was done. Please make sure everyone has finished. I would go down the line and record their score, and then I would ask for them to switch. 
please switch with your partner and then the next partner would go. And because they're in ABC order, it's very quick for me to record their score. For the pacer test, we actually do 15 meter pacer. And on the paper, you would write your first and last name at the top. You would write your teacher's name, classroom teacher's name, and you would put today's date, which is May 9th, 2023. At the bottom of the paper, oops, sorry. You'll notice that all of that information is here at the top. And then you would put the date and then when they're done, they'll put their final score here and their partner will initial it. As they finish one, they would put an X or a slash X for two. You have to listen. If it is a miss, then they would put a triangle around the number saying it was a miss. Either they left too soon or they missed it. 15 meters from color square to color square on the other side. So with your partner, will one of you please go to the opposite side? No, nope, one partner has to stay in score. Please be behind the black line. Everything behind the black line, in case they go too far, they will not slip. And then this group would be on this side of the color line and they would start with the test. This is over. The test will begin on the word start. Get ready. So they only have to be on the color square. They run across, wait for the bell, and go back. People are recording. You should have two X's. After this is over, they would switch with their partner. At the bottom here, you want to make sure that they put the date, what their score is. So if they had one triangle or two, they would subtract it. And we knew that their test should have been over here if they had a triangle. So you would check their score and then you would have them record it and put their initials. Make sure you record the score at the bottom of your person's paper. Give it back to your partner. And then when I call your teacher's name, you're going to turn it in by your teacher. So if you're in Miss Bowden's class, bring me your paper. Good job, guys. Miss Bowden's class, good. For a full year of lesson plans and games like this, get lesson plans for elementary PE on Amazon now.